What's going on, folks? Welcome back to the Real Legend of Gaming. We are here with Arena of Valor, and we have a new hero that just released called Max. So as always, folks, we're going to do a hero spotlight. We're going to explain the abilities. We're going to break everything down and then show you some gameplay on how to use Max. All right. So let's check it out, folks. All right, so let's check out Max. Max is a tank warrior with a role of mobility and initiator. His ultimate is called Liftoff. It's a physical and control ultimate. Has a cooldown of 70 seconds. And basically, Max fires trackers that attach to all enemy heroes for a short time. The trackers allow allies to see the enemy's locations and interrupt enemy recall actions. While the trackers are active, Max can then select an enemy to track and ram into by holding down the ability button. Ramming into the enemy deals 600 physical damage and knocks them back. If Max takes too long to select an enemy, then he will have to fire the trackers again. When Max lands, he activates a magnetic force field that reduces his damage taken, increases his resistance by 30%, and shocks all nearby enemies. Pressing the ability again while Max is tracking an enemy will cancel the attack, making Max land immediately and activating his force field. Now folks, I gotta admit, that is probably one of the most complex ultimates I've heard because there's so many dynamics to it. But regardless of the fact, it's super crazy, right? Because you could track down your enemies you can drop down and ram them, and if you just do your normal drop, you're going to have a force field activated that is also going to help you reduce damage taken. That's crazy. So let's check out the other abilities. Alright, so he also has a control move, I love those, called smooth moves. Max rushes towards his target and flips over them, landing on their opposite side. Once on the other side, Max activates a magnetic force field that reduces Max's damage taken by 15% for 3 seconds. This ability can be used again within 4 seconds. That's, wow. That's all I gotta say. So, he can be in the middle of an attack, do a flip over the opponent, and then all of a sudden create a magnetic field that's gonna lower his damage taken. That... That could be easily chained out with another move. This is nice. So far, Max seems pretty solid. And I can see why a lot of people were overwhelming us last week when he uh, released by accident. Now, next up is a physical attack called Bionic Blender. Max spins his robot arms around, dealing 300 physical damage to enemies. Every time he hits an enemy, he increases his movement speed by 10%, up to a maximum of 50% for 4 seconds. And last but not least, his passive is Static Shock, which is true. Damage. Every time Max damages an enemy, the enemy gets shot, causing them to suffer 30 true damage per second and having their HP regen speed reduced by 25% for 3 seconds. That's some type of passive there. Alright, and let's see what the pro tip is. Smooth moves isn't a typical movement ability. It is great for positioning yourself to absorb damage for your team. Be sure to block as much damage as you can for your team when you use the ability. Oh, that's that's okay. That is a great way to use it. So you can literally like just hop over the opponent and become the tank for a second. That's sick. 
All right, so folks, now we're gonna check out and we're gonna do some gameplay of Max. Right, so now let's test out Max. All right, so movement speed is okay. Let's see how the damage is. So just a regular base attack does deal a good punch. And let's try out that special. Let's flip over him. We landed on the other side. So that was pretty cool. His first ability did damage as well. So, so far, I can see how you can com you know combine those two moves together. But what I want to do is the ultimate. And that should be real interesting. But it might be a little difficult to pull off here because there's only one opponent. But let's give it a try. All right, so we're just waiting for Thane to come back so that we can initiate that ultimate just to get a better understanding of how it works. But the other two moves are pretty straightforward. You do a flip behind your opponent, and the other one's like a whirlwind slap. All right, so we're going to track. Okay, so right there, you saw how Thane popped up on the screen. And then he does like a slam on top of him and activates a magnetic shield. I'm almost positive when you do this in an actual match with his more opponents, it will be much better. But it's pretty straightforward. I mean, I saw once I activated it, I had to hit the ability button again in order to initiate the next move. All right, so that's Max, folks. That's pretty much the new hero to Arena of Valor. Nice combo right there, see? And then you can also protect your team in the event that there's more opponents rushing in. And then you'll be a tank for that second. Now, let's see how much damage you can actually take. All right, so we'll take this tower down quick, and then we'll move up to the next one and see exactly how much damage he can absorb. All right, so look, we're not going to attack Dane. Let's see how much hits we can take. Pretty solid. Pretty tanky. Got to admit. Take out this other tower. Thane's going to hit again. Man, his shield is crazy. His shield is crazy. All right, so that's it. That's Max. All right, so let's recap Max. He's a tank slash warrior. He has a control move. His passive is static shock. Pretty solid, I think. His movement speed is all right. It's... it's not super slow like I expected. I thought he was going to be like kind of tanky, like a machine type, clunky type character. But uh, he actually moved at a decent speed. His attacks were solid. His ultimate made sense, right? Once I was able to actually use it. And the other abilities work well together. That's just something I always look at is how well the first and second ability work together. Because those are the abilities that you're going to be using the most when you're playing your matches. Because the ultimate has a longer cooldown, obviously. But... Other than that, Max is pretty cool.